Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching my video. I'm Mr. Matt and this is Dr. Tot. Dr. Tot, you want a cookie for class? Very good. And welcome to SAT ACT prep. This is quick drill set B to operations with radicals. So as we've been talking about throughout the past few sessions, operations with radicals can be memorized by thinking of the operations of uh, fractions. So remember when we add fractions, we need a common denominator. So when we add radicals, we need a common radicand. The number underneath of the radical sign is called the radicand. The number outside, or usually out front, in, or I should say in front, of the radical is called the coefficient. So once we have a common radicand, we keep the common radicand, add or subtract the coefficients. When we multiply fractions, it's just straight across, right? Numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. When we multiply radicals, it's coefficient times coefficient, radicand times radicand, keeping the radical sign in place. So if the numbers were originally underneath the radical sign before you multiply, they still are underneath the radical sign after you multiply. Sometimes you have to simplify the radicals, and you do that by taking the prime factorization and understanding that for every pair, if it's the square root, for every pair underneath the radical, you can bring one outside. If it was, it's all based, that all, or the number to which underneath the radical you can pull one out, uh, is based on the index number of the radical. So if it's the square root, that has an index value of two. If it's a cube root, it has an index value of three, so on and so forth. So if it was the cube root of something, you would need three pair, or assuming not three pairs, three uh, factors in order to pull one factor out. But let's look at a few examples. Let me share my screen with you. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. This document is available on Certified Learning Center's website. Just make sure that you're looking at um, either the PDF or the Word version that has the reference number 1004-8, and you know you're in the right place. I'd recommend pausing the video, attempting the problem independently, and then unpausing the video to watch a solution. So number one asks, what is the value of the expression, the quantity of 2 times the quantity 3 root 2 plus 3 times the quantity 5 root 2, all that whole quantity times 4 root 12? So take a few moments and solve that problem, please. So following the order of operations, we want to start within the parentheses, if parentheses are ever present. So the first thing that we're going to do is distribute this 2. Now the 2 doesn't have a radical. So normally you'd think of if there's a complex value inside of parentheses and you have a number on the outside of those parentheses, you need to distribute, right? Here though, 3, uh, three root 2 is one value. So you have to think about it that when you go to multiply the values, you have to match up coefficient with coefficient, radicand times radicand. That 2 on the outside does not have a radicand, doesn't have a radical sign or a number underneath the radical sign to match up with that root 2. So the 2 just goes with the coefficient of 3. That 3 will go with that coefficient of 5. So this will simplify into 6 root 2 plus 15 root 2 times the quantity 4 root 12. Now inside the first set of parentheses, we have 6 root 2 plus 15 root 2. So we have common radicands of root 2, so we can keep the radicand, add or subtract the coefficient. So it's going to be 6 plus 15 times the square root of 2. I'm going to put this whole thing inside of parentheses. 6 plus 15 is 21, so this is going to be 21 root 2 times 4 root 12. And now we do coefficient times coefficient, radicand times radicand. So this is going to be 21 times 4 times the square root of 2 times 12. 21 times 4 is going to be 84. 2 times 12 is going to be 24. Now looking at our answer selections, that's not, an, that's not a choice. And we have radicands of 2, 3, or 6, not 24. So that's a signal that we need to simplify this radicand. So let's take the prime factorization of 24. 24 breaks down into 2 times 12. 2 is prime, so I can circle it and stop. 12 breaks down into 3 times 4. 3 is prime. 
4 breaks down into 2 times 2. So 24 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or it's, that's the prime sequence um, of 24. So if we rewrote this as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, you notice that there's a pair of 2, there's a pair of 2's underneath of the radical. So we can pull 1, 2 outside of the radical. That leaves us with 84 times 2 times the square root of 2 times 3. 84 times 2 is going to be 168. 2 times 3 is 6. So our answer here is going to be 168 root 6. And that's answer selection D. Question number 2 asks, what is the value of the expression whole quantity of 5 times the quantity 4 root 3 minus 3 times the quantity 2 root 3 quantity times 2 root 5. Take a few moments and solve that problem please. So again, working within the parentheses, first we have this 5 that's going to distribute into that coefficient of 4. We have that 3 that's going to multiply into that coefficient of 2. So this is going to end up being 20 root 3 minus 6 root 3 quantity times 2 root 5. Inside the first set of parentheses, we have 20 root 3 minus 6 root 3. So we have common radicants of root 3, so we can actually subtract these values. It, it's really important to note here that if you did not have common radicants, you would not be able to subtract or add those values together. You have to have common radicants. Um, so we keep the common radicant of 3, add or subtract the coefficient, so that's going to be 20 minus 6, whole thing times 2 root 5. 20 minus 6 is 14, so this is going to be 14 root 3 times 2 root 5. Multiplying coefficient times coefficient, radicant times radicant, this is going to turn into 14 times 2 times the square root of 3 times 5. 14 times 2 is 28. 3 times 5 is 15. So our answer is going to be 28 root 15. Answer selection A. Question number three asks, what is the value of the expression the whole quantity of 8 times the quantity 3 root 5 minus, the, minus 2 times the quantity 4 root 5 whole quantity times 3 root 8? So please take a few moments and solve that problem. So working within the parentheses, this 8 is going to multiply with the 3. This 2 is going to multiply with the 4. So that's going to leave us with 24 root 5 minus 8 root 5 quantity times 3 root 8. 24 root 5 minus 8 root 5 is going to be 16 root 5. So we're going to have 16 root 5 times 3 root 8. Taking coefficient times coefficient, 16 times 3. Radicant times radicant, the square root of 5 times the square root of 8. 16 times 3 will be 48, I believe. Yes. 48 root 5 times 8 is 40. Now, that's not an answer selection, so we need to... Uh, break down or simplify the radicant there. So the number underneath the radical sign is 40, so let's take the prime factorization. It has an ending units value of 0, so I know it's divisible by 10. So 4 times 10 make up 40, or multiply into 40. 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. 10 breaks down into 2 times 5. So we could rewrite this as 48 times the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And notice that there is one pair of 2's in that sequence. So we can pull 1, 2 out. So that's going to be 48 times 2 times the square root of, you're left with 1, 2 and 1, 5 underneath of the radical. 
48 times 2 is 96. So this guy is going to simplify into 96 root 10. And that's answer selection C. Question number four asks, what is the value of the expression negative root 3 times the quantity 3 root 2 squared whole quantity squared? Take a few moments and solve that, please. So we want to start from the inside and work our way out. So I'm, first let me just copy down the problem as it's written. The first square is that 3 root 2 squared in the heart of the problem. So let's start there. That really, and if it, if it helps you to write out the expansion, the product expansion of it, um, then go ahead. Just make sure that you don't, um, in order not, not to make any mistakes. For example, this is the same thing as 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. So instead of thinking about it as 3 root 2 squared, you can think about it as 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. So then you can apply the rule of coefficient times coefficient. And this whole thing is squared, sorry, I dropped that out. Coefficient times coefficient, radicant times radicant. So this is going to be the negative square root of 3 times 3 times 3 times the square root of 2 times 2. Just coefficients, both those threes are coefficients, those twos are radicants, so they're going to multiply into each other. Three times three is nine, so this is going to turn into that negative root three I'm just going to keep for now. This is going to be times nine times, now it's going to, two times two is four, the square root of four is two. So this is going to be the square root of three, negative square root of three, excuse me, times nine times two quantity squared. 9 times 2 is 18. So this whole thing, you can consider that negative out front of that root 3 as the equivalent of negative 1 times root 3. So negative 1 times 9 times 2 is negative 18. So all of this is equivalent to negative 18 root 3 quantity squared. And now we're just going to square, we're going to take that square and apply it to both the coefficient of negative 18 and the radicand of uh, root 3. So we're going to have negative 18 squared times root 3 squared. Negative 18 squared is 324. Root 3 squared is just 3, they're opposite operations of each other. 324 times 3 is 972. So the answer to number 4 is 972. Question number 5 asks, what is the value of the expression negative root 5 times 2 root 3 quantity squared whole quantity squared. So please take a few moments and solve that problem, please. So again, working from the inside out, we can think about 2 root 3 quantity squared as just 2 root 3 times 2 root 3. That's a little bit easier to think about, at least for me. So I'm just going to carry down the negative root 5, but then I'm going to think about this as 2 root 3 times 2 root 3, and then this whole thing is still squared. So 2 root 3 times 2 root 3, coefficient times coefficient, that's going to be 2 times 2, let me just copy down this negative root 5, coefficient times coefficient, that's going to be the 2 times 2, radicant times radicant, that's going to be the square root of 3 times 3, and then this whole thing is squared. 2 times 2 is 4, The square root of 3 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 4 times negative 1, which remember this negative sign out front of the coefficient, that negative sign out front of the radical sign stands for a coefficient of negative 1. So it's really negative 1 times 3 times 4. 
which is going to be negative 12 root 5 quantity squared, which is going to be negative 12 squared times root 5 squared. Negative 12 squared is a positive 144. Root 5 squared is just 5. 144 times 5 is 720. So the answer to number 5 is 720. And last problem, number 6. What is the value of the expression negative root 2 times 3 root 5 squared whole quantity squared? Please take a few moments and solve that problem. So if we think about that value inside, which is 3 root 5 quantity squared, as instead 3 root 5 times 3 root 5, and then work our way outwards. Coefficient times coefficient, 3 times 3, and carry down this negative root 2. 3 times 3, which is 9. Radicant times radicant, which is going to be root 5 times 5. Whole thing squared. So this is going to simplify into negative root 2 times 9 times 5, because those are opposite operations, the square root of 25, which is 5, whole thing squared. So this is going to be negative 45 root 2, negative 1, which is indicative of that coefficient, that negative sign out front of the radical is going to be a negative 1. Negative 1 times 9 times 5 is negative 45, and then you have that root 2. So this is negative 45 squared times root 2 squared. Negative 45 squared is going to be 2,025. Root 2 squared is just 2. So 2,025 times 2 is going to be 4,050. So the answer to number six is 4,050. If you have any questions, then please let me know in the comment section below, or you can always contact me on my social media accounts, um, which are linked in the description. Otherwise, Dr. Tot, do you want to say goodbye and get a cookie? Come on, you got to earn your cookie. Come on. You say bye to everybody. Can you say bye? Bye. Come on, that's the tongue. Come on, say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> kind of. We're working on that. We're working on that. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all soon.